You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiling Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and today we're going to talk about supporting your kids. Cue the intro. my dad here talking about supporting your kids my dad is super supportive of all four of his children so what is it like supporting your kids like is it challenging is it easy well it's never uh, easy uh, yeah uh, especially especially in this country you know like in india it's a uh, uh, there are different types of rules over here mm -hmm. uh, you are more free with your children yeah uh, so that comes with a lot, lot more challenges. Yeah. What are some challenges? Yeah, there were challenges with uh, all of you. <laughs> all four of us. Yeah, all, right? all four of you. Actually. Yeah. And I don't want to. You have to call us out. We can just kind of give like a general idea of the kind of challenges. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially uh, the the girls. You know, uh, going out with other boys and all. You know, the, the, concerns, yeah. the concerns of the parents mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. Uh, it's not like in India, you know, where they really don't They don't date, you know, right. They're like saying, yeah, they're, I mean, did you ever tell confused. any of us not to date? Not really, right? Not really, but then, uh, you know, everything has to have its own timing, its own right. time. You know, you cannot say that, uh, uh, or you could say that, yeah, at the age of 17, yeah, you go and find your boyfriend. We don't say that. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like maybe I, I probably started dating the youngest, Yeah. You say. Yeah, it, it's okay with us, but then, you know, it comes with uh, its own anxieties for us. Right. You know, what could... Uh, what could possibly happen? What could uh, possibly happen, so... Uh, those situations, of course, we, we uh, overcome, I mean, we go through that and... Uh, I mean, in the long run, you know, everything else for the good. Right, I feel like, I know a lot of... I remember hearing other people, <laughs> their parents telling their kids they can't date, but then, like, once they were, like, Grown up adults after college, they were had this expectation that they should find a husband or find a wife, and I feel like you kind of have to transition into that, right? Like it can't just happen that you're like comfortable speaking to the opposite sex, and you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's a typical American way too. They find their mates typically when they are in college, right? But in uh, well, in, in our case, you know, my good case too, you know. That is our thinking, but then you know we are hoping that they will find somebody from our from our own community. They will find their own houses, uh, their own way, and we accept them. What kind of advice do you have for kids that their parents may not be supportive of, like different decisions that they have? Well, they need to guide their children, not in a very harsh way, but then uh, just like any parent, you know, they want to find a suitable spouse for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially for our, you know, people from our community, it is uh, not challenging for them because you know uh, their desire to have have a response of, uh, from their own community. At the same time, uh, well, that you good to be able to find one of them who is who is acceptable to them or not. That's, that's one thing. Yeah, I think also we're recognizing that. It's not really, one, it's not your choice, right? It's like their life partner. But then also you may not know exactly what they need. I think I think it's, it all comes from good intention, right? Like you want to find like the best person for your child because you think you know what they need, Correct. but that may not be the reality. Yeah, yeah. In reality, um, you know, as I, see, as I see other kids too, you know, how they really struggle to find uh, social partners for them mm -hmm. uh, who are, you know... Check all the boxes yeah, that mom and yeah, dad want, right? Box, yeah, plus what they want too, but mm -hmm. then, you know, they may not have, uh, you know, sufficient people to pick from. The, the choices for a lot of these kids are really uh, limited, so uh, so you will see a lot of, lot of frustrations, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. like I see, you know, the, my nephews and nieces mm -hmm. who, are, who are here and and we cannot really blame them for yeah for not not being able to find a suitable mate for them. But then 
hopefully they'll find them. Right. What about kids? Like, do you have any advice for kids? Like, how to talk to their parents? Like, I think I get messages from people in regards to like career decisions and things like that. Like, how you feel like. I mean, I feel like with us, we've just been pretty honest with you guys. And I think that's kind of happened over time, just over the years, we've just had an open conversation, right? Yeah, career decisions are important because, uh, you know, every parent uh, likes to see their children in uh, uh, good jobs and... Right. Uh, taking care of themselves. Taking care of themselves. I mean, right. be, be happy because the kids are unhappy, you know, we are not, the parents are not happy either. Mm -hmm. so, it is to their own uh, interest to have them guided to a, to a certain career, and uh, of course, I never had my my children to children uh, told to you know follow this, follow that. Right. Or, 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 or. But I think there's like a sense of like expectation that we should go to college and do something that like you know a good job. I went into marketing, and you're not very familiar with that, right? Correct. So Correct. that was like a different. Yeah. situation and we just kind of learned about it and went through it. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. I thought I, I guided in that in whatever you did, mm -hmm. you know, I, wherever you wanted to go, I came around and helped you to go there and mm -hmm. uh, that's what every uh, parents uh, typically do, you know, right. to help their children to succeed. Yeah, I think a lot of times people think that either their parents won't understand, but I think you should cut them some slack and like you know, just give it a chance to talk to them about things. I think we've just been able to be pretty open with you guys. Um, and I think that's been helpful in making different decisions because we know that we can just talk about t talk about it with you guys. And even though you may not fully understand it or not know everything about it and have all the knowledge, you're like willing to like hear us out. It's always the, the fear of the unknown. Right. It's always anxiety about you know, what uh, your kids are getting into. Mm -hmm. But then what are they are into, you know, we, we, uh, we try to guide them right. into that and help them to uh, succeed. Right, and I feel like, you know, if you did a good job in raising your kids, I'm sure they'll make good decisions. And sometimes they make, make mistakes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no perfect uh, uh, situation. There's, right. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing like, uh, you know, 100% happy anybody, you know, yeah. nobody is. But, uh, you know, I, Take the life as it comes. My biggest thing with supporting your kids is just like having an open conversation. I feel like that's really what it's about. You don't need to feel like a sense of I don't know. I think there's a lot of fear in people in, in kids that like don't have a close relationship with their parents that like their parents are never gonna understand or like oh I don't want to do this career anymore but I'm just doing it because my parents said to. Like just talk to them. Yeah, I think it, I think it is in uh, the parents also. The children also does the parents too because yeah. uh, parenting is something which you don't go to university and right. get a degree in. You just learn as you as you go along. Right, right, right. Right. That, that, that's where the life is. You yeah. Just, you just take it the way it take it the way it comes. Yep. Cool. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate okay. you. All right. All right. Um. Thanks so much for watching. We do videos every single week. I, I appreciate mom with all that rattling of noise in the background. <laughs> yeah, that is her uh, coffee. Coffee, plastic bag, refrigerator, <laughs> coffee. Right. All right. Thank you. Bye.